Hi, in this next clip I say it's day three, when actually it was only, it is day two today. So, uh, sorry about that, I'm losing my mind already. And I also wanted to let you know that if you want any um, recipe ideas or sort of like menu plans, meal plans, then you can go to the LBL website to get those. Thanks. Hello, uh, it's day three of my Live Below The Line challenge. Uh, it's the morning, I've just eaten my porridge which um, was considerably more tasteless than the day before. I didn't enjoy it as much. Um, I'm feeling okay, a little bit tired. My skin's gone really bad, um, which I think is probably due to the sort of lack of vegetables and dairy and stuff in the diet. But I don't want to complain because Obviously there's 1.2 billion people living below the extreme poverty line and they have it a lot worse than I do, so. Um, but I think what it's doing is just kind of pointing out already the lack of choice that there is um, in the diet and the lack of choice that people obviously have when they live on $1.50 a day. There's just no room for any greens. I want to show you the, um, the food that's in the fridge. So, we uh, come this way. This is what I get to eat. So this is breakfast. I have one of these every day. Um, then lunch here. There's my split pea. So yesterday I had the carrot soup uh, and today I'm going to have a split pea. And then down the bottom, yesterday I had an omelette with my, um, my uh, potato and onion. So that was that. And then I want to show you what I've done with my bananas, which is to... I keep them in this little drawer here because you're supposed to keep them out of the sunlight and then I've wrapped um, cling film around the bottom of them to keep them fresher because, I mean, one thing that I've started to notice um, is kind of how much more precious food becomes. Uh, and I've never been like flippant about food, I don't think, but I think potentially everybody um, who's not living below the poverty line kind of you know, you'll sort of e eat something and you won't really appreciate how important that banana might be in your day. You know, it'll just sort of be because you think, well, if I get hungry, I'll get another one. But we don't have that choice. Like everything, like the banana yesterday, I was just savouring it and I didn't want it to finish. And it's like, again, that kind of slight sense of panic that comes along with all eating where you just think, well, this might be the last thing I eat or this might be, I might go starving now for a couple of hours. So I want to savour every moment of it. So that's kind of been interesting and I've I've just been eating like every tiny, like I was scraping the bowl of the soup yesterday and the omelette, I was like, you know, picking all the little bits and stuff just because you're so hungry all the time. Um, so that has been what I've kind of noticed yesterday. Okay, see you later.